The 50th meeting of SICA ended with the presence of eight member countries. The General Secretary of SICA said the conflicts in Nicaragua and immigration in Central America have to be resolved on the basis of respecting human rights. We have to insist on an inclusive development process that's fair for everyone and that gives them the opportunity to take care of their families. Another important thing is to ask the U.S. government to treat us like human beings and not like a security problem. The meeting discussed migration, foreign trade, and integration, the dialogue between public and private sectors, and the violence in Nicaragua. We think that what we are asking from the U.S. government and what they have suggested to us will make things better. They recommend we carry out awareness campaigns among our people, and we recommend that they think about a complete immigration reform. The Dominican president, Danilo Medina, warned of the region's vulnerability to climate change and handed over the presidency of the group to Belize. For me, it is an honor to turn the presidency of SICA to our brothers from Belize. We are very sorry that Prime Minister Dean Barrow couldn't be here with us because of health issues, but we know that SICA is in good hands. At the end of the meeting, members discussed possible solutions to the crisis in Nicaragua. The united position of our group, contained in the declaration we are publishing, is that Nicaragua needs an open dialogue with all sectors of society to resolve its crisis. The government has accepted that the dialogue can touch on any issue brought up by the opposition, as long as this is through dialogue and not force. During the meeting, the member countries agreed to draw up a proposal to improve relations with foreign actors, to improve communication with its citizens, and to develop a plan to evaluate the causes and consequences of migration.